Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel and uh, we have numbers and so what are they for Windows market share? Well, Windows 11 is almost one out of five computers now. That's 19.3% exactly here. So that's a interesting increase. It's a slower increase than we've seen in the past month or so, but it is um, impressive to see that we're already at one out of five computers running Windows 11. If you uh, count that they have 1.4 billion PCs, uh, well, that is roughly, roughly 300 million PCs, um, which is pretty uh, impressive um, for a lot of people. You know, there's this uh, funny um, way of a lot of people seeing that Oh, well, you know, the minimum requirements, nobody has that. Well, a lot of people have a PC that's compatible. These are, and the um, market share numbers have been actually uh, checked out against compatible and supported PCs. So that means that 19.3% is machines that are actually um, compatible and supported. They're not counting the unsupported PCs in here. The uh, interesting number also is that on Enterprise, it seems that um, there's a few um, comments below the um, market share numbers on the website uh, where people say, well, you know what, um, where I work, they started deploying Windows 11 in the workplace. So it shows you that it's gaining momentum. And this is far from being a Vista, I can tell you that. It was um, already something that we could see from the beginning. Anybody thinking that this was, oh, this is Vista again? Nope, it's not. And for those that think it has tons of problems, it doesn't. It's very, very um, good and actually is very stable. And, um, you know, the, the, the amount of problems on Windows 11 for real problems is not really higher than the number of problems people complain on Windows 10. As for Windows 10, well, of course, it is the most popular version of Windows. The two most popular are 21H1 at 27.5% and 21H2 at 21%. So together, the versions that were uh, out last year amount for 48.5% of all PCs out there. So half of the PC world is running one of the two versions that was released last year. Uh, so it's interesting to note that if we take it in order, um, Windows 10, 21H2, well, 21H1 is number one, 21H2 is number two, and now Windows 11 is actually at the third position of the most popular Windows versions out there. So that also tells you that uh, the um, increase is, is real and it's there. So a lot of people moving on to Windows 11, there's some uh, momentum there that definitely, but like I said, it's slowing down a little bit, and the slowdown have, probably will have to do with um, quite a few things. First of all, probably the enthusiasts that wanted to go there are now there. And the regular folks, most people, you know, and you got to remember, most people don't even know Windows 11 exists. So it's probably just that they see it when they do something and or go to Windows Update and look at something and they're like, oh, look at that, a new version of Windows is available. But, um, you know, now we're going to get into the... Um, moment where it's regular folks that are not necessarily tech enthusiasts that will be offered this but don't necessarily want it. Also, one of the things we need to note is the increase this year will probably be driven a lot more with new computers sold than actually people installing Windows 11 on their machines. So uh, interesting numbers and uh, Windows 11 is uh, already on one out of five PCs, pretty much. Uh, crazy when you think about it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.